I started out my day today at Starbucks at the airport because today I am flying to Lombok, which is going to be the first time that I've ever flown domestically in another country. So that should be an interesting experience. Starbucks here was interesting because I have not had real brewed coffee since starting my trip, which was about a month ago today. And uh, having real Starbucks coffee was like a punch to the face of caffeine. So I am now just buzzing. I've got a bit of time before my flight today, so I'm just kind of exploring the area and seeing what I can find. And then it's off to Lombok, which should be a nice short 25 minute flight and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty beautiful. I got to the airport for my flight extremely early because I had to check out of my hotel today. It was walking distance to the airport, so I figured I'd come uh, kill some time over here. And so I'm just exploring the airport. And what I found is that since such a high percentage of people smoke here, they have really amazing uh, smoking areas. There's one just upstairs from here, and it is this beautiful patio overlooking the airport, and it's pretty cool. The security to get in here was super relaxed. I have not experienced anything like it because I generally fly to or from the United States so we get the whole intense security the whole way through. Uh, so domestic from Indonesia, no problem whatsoever. I also just realized that uh, the Lombok airport is not where I thought it was. So when I booked my Airbnb, I thought it would be a pretty short distance to the airport from there. And it's not. Google Maps says it's about an hour and 10 minutes. And uh, I think when the sun starts to go down, that might be a little tough trying to find a motorbike and then get over there. So uh, that's going to be an adventure. <laughs> and it was kind of an interesting journey to get here. The plane ride takes about 20 minutes. You go up and immediately back down to uh, land in Lombok. So it was a really nice quick flight. And then I got in the taxi that was the techno taxi. This guy was blasting 1990s techno music. He had more subwoofers in the trunk of that van than I have seen in any car ever. It was hilarious. And then when I got to my place, I told the person that runs it that I was hungry. And he was like, get on the back of this motorbike. And uh, that was something that I had never done before. Interesting giving up control and being on the back of a bike. But Winton had the most amazing Indonesian food that I've had on my entire trip. I don't remember what it's called right now, but I'm going to take you guys back at some point in the near future to show you what it's all about because it was fantastic. But for the time being, I gotta get to work, get to sleep, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.